All right, I got every single kind of a 177 caliber pellet that JSB makes for the most part. Restock some 25 calibers, and I even got some 25 caliber H&N pellets, so that'll be neat. Very exciting. There we go, as usual, it comes with a hard case. So the Urgans come with this great case right here. Two magazines, some fill probes and stuff, and mine right here has a detachable moderator. Let's get this out of the package and check it out. So this case is totally cool. It's got room for all your stuff in there. These magazines are actually made of metal. So we'll go over those in a little bit, how to load them. So inside here you got some sort of fill whip. I'm still not sure exactly how to use these, but I just take this off and put it on a 1 8 foster fitting quick disconnect. And it looks like we got a thread protector in there. All right, it looks like we got a thread protector for when you want to take your moderator off right there. Now, some of the versions that they sell in the US do not come with a moderator. So if you want one with a detachable moderator, I left a link in the description below where you can order one. It's probably not too loud. And of course, you get a nice manual and an air gun technology sticker. Now, I went over this in my first video. It basically says that your gun should be for target shooting only. It's not really made for hunting. But I think that just means be careful not to get dirt in there if you do take it hunting. Max pressure, 300 bar. It does also tell you how to switch your charging handle from the left to the right. It's on the left right now, which I kind of like. Right here, it's got some stats on the different Urgans available. We see right there. It also tells you about maintenance. Just be sure and read your manual because it says different things like you got to oil it once a year and, and stuff like that. So basic things there. Oh, there's an exploded view of all your parts. Very nice. So, very nice manual. And I didn't see these before, but you got a couple O-rings in there, and those are actually to go on your fill probe if they ever wear out. So, very good to have. So, check this out. Definitely a sexy looking gun definitely compact all right so this gun is not only good looking the 4.5 millimeter 177 caliber here gets 130 shots per fill even on that tiny bottle super cool and those are regulated too and here's the description on the vulcan ergan compact the vulcan ergan is a pcp air rifle with a cold hammer forge 360 millimeter barrel made by cz now, CZ make great barrels on par with Walther. Very, very nice. Super accurate. Having a working pressure of 300 bar and a cylinder volume of 210 centimeters, the Vulcan Uragan Compact can fire a staggering 130 shots per fill in 4.5 millimeter and 90 shots in 22 caliber. It's very easy to move the biathlon side lever from right to left, if that has your preference. Weaver rails provided mounting space for scope and bipod. You got rails on the top and bottom there. To provide good ergonomics, the butt pad is adjustable. Overall length is 625 millimeters. It says the Vulcan Ergan can be fitted with the included moderator or thread protecting ring. Make it even shorter. So the horde curse stats I got on this bad boy. 300 bar fill, that's 4,351 PSI. Now it says for velocity, we're looking at the 177 shooting around 850 feet per second. With the 22, it says here it shoots around 750. Side lever cocking, the 22 caliber is going to hold 12 rounds in the magazine. And the 177 caliber I have here is going to hold 15 rounds. Ambidextrous stock comes with a case, charging kit, two magazines, and some versions come with a suppressor. And it weighs 6.3 pounds with a barrel length of 14 inches. Now we can see we got the 177 caliber right there. Now when I reviewed the 30 caliber thing was a real tack driver. Very very exciting gun. Lots of power. Very very accurate. There's the other side of the Uragan. Just a very very cool gun. Craftsmanship and 
you know, fit and finish on this gun is just beautiful. This charging handle kind of pops out like that, spring loaded. And then you just cock it back. Beautiful. And of course, it's got a beautiful trigger. There's your manometer, your trigger right there. It's all metal, aluminum, or whatever. Beautiful, shiny bottle on there. And I'm loving that LDC right there, too. So, if you watch my channel regularly, you know what comes next. We gotta clean this baby. So, you always gotta clean your new air guns before you shoot them because they have preservative gunk in the barrel. So, we're gonna use a flexible cleaning rod so we don't screw up the delicate crown on the end of the barrel. Never wanna shove a metal cleaning rod down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, carefully clean this baby, and then we'll get this party started. Another tip is to uh, turn your air gun upside down when you're cleaning it so that solvent doesn't run down the transfer port. The other thing about these uh, Urgans are they are some of the greasiest guns that I have ever dealt with, and I really like that. You can wipe this grease off, and it'll just keep on oozing out. There it is, that's what I'm talking about. So I'll pull three, four patches through this. We'll be all set. This barrel actually came clean real easily and I actually got it very, very clean. So, ready to rock and roll. Check this out guys, I just sighted it in and I'm, I think I put 10 shots through this hole right here. Now this is only 25 yards, but check this out. Pretty much same hole. These don't count, this is from an old target, but this is the one I was shooting at right there and I just put a bunch through this little hole right here. And it's windy. All right, check out these groups from 25 yards, maybe a little farther. There's a 177 caliber pellet. There's a dime. So this one's like six shots at least, covered by about a half a dime. Definitely all these are gonna be covered by a dime. That Urgan was just eating those bullseyes for lunch. And that was with JSB 8.4 grains, by the way. Not even a new tin, but an old tin of beat up 8.4 grain pellets. So that makes it even more awesome. All right, guys, let's perform a sound test. So, 74 decibels moderated. So, check this out, guys. That's what's inside your shroud. So, it looks like it's got a suppressor in the shroud already. This stuff is all metal, too. It's all metal insert there. And now the loud version. So around 100 decibels when it's not moderated. And by the way, here's a look at that LDC that you get with it. Pretty freaking awesome. And that is actually a standard Airgun Technologies thread. It's not one half UNF. Now I can tell you this trigger is super smooth. Let's see what the trigger pull is on it. So it has about a seven or eight ounce trigger pull. Really nice. So this is a two stage trigger. Looks like the first stage is like right about there. And then we got a clean break right there. Boom, eight ounces, baby. All right, guys, I have target man down there at 35 yards. 
Got my Uragan right here. Let's do some accuracy testing at 35. I'm just going to start out with these 8.4 grains right here and then we might try these if we need to for grouping. Okay to load these magazines you're basically just going to stick it right past there and you drop your pellet in face first like that. Go to the next one, drop it in there like that and as long as you go past that little hole right there, then your pellet will stay in there. And you just keep doing that until you're all filled up all the way around. Then to get your magazine in, you just pop that biathlon action back. You can actually see there's a plunger back there that's going to retract. Then you're going to have this circular part facing backwards. That notch right there is going to slide over to the end of your barrel. You just slide that baby in and you're set. Put down your charging handle. Safety is actually going to be back like that, locked and loaded. All right, I'm going to take a few shots at this guy right here. See where I'm sighted in at. Putting him through the same hole at 35 yards, freaking awesome. So I clicked too far over, obviously. If I can get that back here. Boom. All right, you guys, close enough. So I'm just gonna do some, some groups. I started at 300 bar. Should have more than enough to finish out this target. Here we go. We got a little bit of wind kicking up right now, so that might be. What's going on here? There we go. Okay, that was 15 shots. Time flies when you're having fun. Darn, if I hadn't pulled that last one, you guys can blame me, okay? That was my fault. Come on now. Awesome. Now, I'm not checking these pellets or anything before I put them in. I'm just throwing them in there. They are from a brand new tin. Well, you know what? I'm not even going to try the 10.34 grains. I'm just going to finish this out with the 8.4s. All right, let's finish this. Five shots each. I'm actually aiming at different points of the bullseye subconsciously, and it's working. Yeah, baby. Then at the end of all these shots, um, we'll check our PSI. All right, now, you guys, I would say that if you're a bullseye, you don't want to f with an Uragan, all right, because you'll be dead before you hit the ground. Five shots at 35 yards. All right, it looks like all those shots I just took, uh, I think that was about 45 shots. Took me from 300 to about 210 bar. All 
All right, here we got the ur again. And I'm filled all the way up to about 290 bar. I'm gonna go ahead and throw each one of these pellets in here, shoot one shot, and see how fast they're flying. We got everything from five grains, super lightweight, and then we got uh, seven, eight, 10, 13, and 16 grain JSBs. Holy crap, did you see that? Did that come out of that teeny little gun, seriously? Thousand feet per second on that bad boy, holy crap. Me likey. These right here are made by Gamo, and they have red tips. Dang, 900 feet per second. Awesome. Now this pellet is called the RS Diablo. This is a fast shooting 177 caliber pellet that's on the lighter side. Nine forty three. Now one of my favorite one seven seven caliber pellets, the one that we've been icing bullseyes with this whole time, the eight point four grain JSB. Nice. All right, now this is my other favorite one seven seven caliber pellet, the ten point three four grain. Eight thirty two. And now. One of the heaviest JSB pellets, 13 grain. 7.33, that thing's packing a punch for sure. Now there may be a heavier 177 caliber pellet made by JSB, I'm not sure. But as far as I'm concerned, this is the king daddy of 177 caliber pellets. The pellet you can barely fit in some guns. The JSB 16 grain, exact beast. Nice. So we just saw pellet speeds ranging from 1,000 to 679 feet per second. Awesome. All right, guys, I can't do 130 shots on the chronograph here, but I'm going to go ahead and do three magazines. I'm at 290 bar, and let's see what that is. It's going to be 45 shots. We're using 8.4 grain. JSBs. All right, 45 shots. And uh, those numbers I'm sure will continue for about three times that. So, pretty awesome. By the way, the full size version of this gun right here in 177 gets 400 shots per fill. Okay. I know that's mind-boggling to wrap your head around, but it's true, and uh, I'm going to find out, too, because I'm going to get one. As you can tell, I'm super stoked about this gun. The Uragan is definitely my new best friend. By the way, the bolt locks back like that when you run out of pellets, so on your last shot, it's going to lock back like that. You see that grease right there? Like I said, the Uragans are nice and greasy just from using it. I got that grease on there. So I have one magazine loaded with each of these kinds of pellets. I'm going to go ahead and light the target up at 50 yards with the 8.4s right there. And then we'll go ahead and sight in and do a couple groups on the 10.34s. There is what an 8.4 and a 10.3 pellet look like next to each other. You can also see from the top of the 10 that they're a slightly different shape. Got my target down there at 50 yards. right there on my covered shooting thing. So we're at 300 bar, I was actually able to get it all the way up there with my scuba tank that had a full fill on it, so that was cool. All right, let's see where this is gonna hit. Okay, definitely we need to click down a little bit. There is a slight breeze too, unfortunately. It's also quite possible that 8.4 grain pellets are not appropriate for 50 yard target shooting. I saw that one fly. Yeah, all right, so I don't think this is the pellet for 50 yards. Let me try my 10 grains here, hold on. 10 grains, definitely windy. I can feel that wind from here, so see how we can group here. I like that.
Okay, we're already grouping better right there, so I'm gonna click over a little bit. Let's see if we can get a Beal's eye. Ah, I pulled the trigger accidentally. That's a Beal's eye, all right. Ooh, that's real close. So I'm gonna come click over. Okay, I just went down two clicks and to the right one click. Let's go back up to that top dot. All right. Look at that, guys. We're hitting bullseyes at 50 yards. Don't know where that went. Okay, so I'm ready to do some groups down here. Actually, let me just take out the rest of these bullseyes. Oh, that was bomb. Nice. I knew that was going to be a good shot because I held the gun very still and I did my part. That's called doing my part. <laughs> and uh, the ear again went right in the right in the bullseye. All right, so here's some official group groups. That was so fun just then. I don't even remember how many shots I got left. So let's do three on each of these guys. <laughs> now, this is something I may be able to do with my crown, you know, sit down and just slam bullseyes at 50 yards. This is like a 177 Uragan, yo, with a teeny little barrel. Holy crap, I need to get a full size 177. Oh my gosh, loving it. All right, three more if I got it. Oh, that was it, you guys. So, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quit while I'm ahead right there. All right, you guys, as I was saying, like, I'll be honest with you, I could come out here with my FX Crown 25 and, and, get, and get bullseyes. And with that teeny little barrel, this is a 177 caliber with a very short barrel. So, holy guacamole. Freaking nice. Bugaboo, what'd you think of those helicopters? Freaking badass! Alright, you guys, my final thoughts on the Uragan 177. Well, I think that the Uragans should be air gun of the year because the 30 caliber I tested was super accurate. This one is super accurate as well. And this one is just super fun to hold and just walk around with. It's like the ultimate, it's like a BP-17, but with the accuracy of a crown. So I love it. I love the left-hand charging handle. I love the 100 plus shots per fill. So Airgun Technologies really knows what they're doing. This Uragan, I mean, that's all there is to say about it, really. It's super accurate. It's super well balanced. It's cool as heck. And... Boy, I wanna, I'm going to make a video in every single caliber of this gun because it's so awesome. I want to try them all. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sell this to some lucky person and buy another one. So we'll see you soon with a new Uragan video. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.